Good morning, I hope you're having an awesome day. It's Mark Wiens, I'm in Gat Chang Island, which is in Trat, in the eastern part of Thailand. This is day seven of our Eastern Thai food and travel tour. But it's a jungle covered, rustic island with beautiful beaches. We're gonna drive around the eastern side of the island and explore some of the fishing villages. We're gonna get some amazing scenery. We're gonna go through some beaches. And of course, we are gonna search out some incredibly delicious food and especially some seafood. And I'm gonna share all the food and everything that we do with you today in this video right now. So we're getting ready to leave. It's about 7 a.m. So it is really cool that we're able to have our car here in Kot Chang so that we can drive around. This is gonna be an awesome day. Just quickly to tell you, we are staying on a beach in an area called Gai Ba. And this is one of the most popular, this, this entire western side of Gat Chang Island is the main side where you'll find most hotels, most guest houses, most life. But the eastern side is known to be more quiet, more peaceful, a little more rustic. Uh, so that's the side we're especially gonna focus on. But really we're gonna focus on the food today. We just drove down the road a few kilometers. We're just before Klong Prao, which is the next uh, kind of beach area, but there's a restaurant, and this is where we need to stop to eat breakfast before we move on. This is one of those spots where you can go down the line of pots and open the cover and see what they have for the day. I'll let you in on a little secret. Yesterday we took the day off from filming and actually we ate at this same place. Uh, we were just driving past. I saw that lots of van drivers and tuk-tuk drivers were stopping here to eat and I knew it was a place we needed to stop to eat for lunch too. Uh, so I'm glad they are open this morning. This, they actually serve southern Thai food, like, like not um, this region, but from the, the southern peninsula of Thailand, and their food is awesome. It's also halal food. This place is absolutely fantastic. Yeah, and I ordered actually the same exact dishes that I ordered yesterday because they're so good. This is the dish. Almost everybody eating here orders this. It's just a beautiful beef soup. The chunks of beef, the fresh chilies in there. Look at that. Just, just entire chilies in there. The fresh onions. Ah, okay, let me just take a bite. Oh, and the, the crispy fried shallots. <laughs> oh, that, that is melt in your mouth beef. And the stock is so beefy and so rich and beautifully salty. Um, and then you can taste the herbs that have been boiled down in the soup, the kapir lime leaves, uh, cilantro roots in there as well. The, the part that I love the most is that they combine fresh uh, uh, fresh uncooked onions and chilies and lime juice as well as some tomatoes in there and then they pour the boiling soup over those vegetables so you've got you've got both cooked ingredients as well as raw ingredients which, which gives it that punch of flavor and those crispy shallots as well man that's good next dish I got is kukling nua this is beef um, in a dry, dry curry. So you can see that curry paste which is just kind of caked up on the meat there with kaffir lime leaves. <laughs> it's absolutely stunning. You've got that cake, that crust of chili curry paste on there. I love it. Another thing that's great about Southern Thai food is you've always got a plate of pak nol, which is a plate of raw vegetables and some shrimp paste. And I'm going right in. This is white turmeric, I believe. Yeah, that's your wake up call in the morning. Final thing I got here is some blad at dia, which is uh, dried, sun dried fish and then deep fried. And she said she makes this all herself. Oh, look at that fish. That's seriously good stuff. You can taste that it's sort of been dehydrated in the sun. But the dehydrating the, the dat diao, the one meaning one sun, one day of sunshine, it gives it a more unique texture. Like a little bit 
slightly turning to jerky, but not quite. There's nothing like a 7.30 a.m. morning meal that breaks your, your sweat of the day and just leaves you like sl shirt slightly dripping uh, but feeling outrageously satisfied. And now that we've finished with breakfast, we can continue driving. Oh man, this side of the island is so incredibly relaxing. We are stopping at a coffee shop. It is called the Coffee Home. It's right along the ocean. Uh, you can sit, you can relax. They have a, a garden. Oh, this is gorgeous. This is great. Coffee is okay. Now we can officially start the day though. The coffee here is okay, not amazing, but the scenery, the atmosphere is spectacular. That is one relaxing cup of coffee. We're on our way next. I hope we're gonna go check out a coconut farm. The place is called the Organic Coconut Farm. It's right on the side of the road. It's just a beautiful little kind of shack type of place. So next up, let's have a coconut. Okay. <laughs> oh, look, these are on. Oh. Yes. Really nice. And then you'll find every, everything there. Yeah. Or I can write it down for you. Okay, cup, okay, cup. Oh, straight up blended coconut and coconut yeah, meat and yeah, the coconut yeah, water. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. awesome. Oh, and the yeah, foam, the coconut no. foam on top. Oh, that's that's superb. I like that he just doesn't add anything. He just relies on the coconut. It froths up. It's absolutely sensational. That's outstanding. I mean, it's perfectly sweet and a little bit sour and uh, pure coconut. Okay, Gob. Ying said I have to come check out the toilet, which is back here in the coconut field. Oh, here it is in the palm, palm branches. Oh, and of course, a banana tree in the toilet. That's awesome. Oh. This is the type of bathroom I've always dreamed about. The banana trees surrounded by palm branches and just check out this throne, the podium. Oh, you can do your morning exercise at the same time. And he's just an amazing, friendly man, uh, just passionate about the fruit that he's serving. He, he will talk to you, he will take care of you when you're sitting here, and I fully support what he's doing. I love it, this is, this is great. Look at that, it's just like jelly. Mm. Mm. Delicious. Really good, it just melts in your mouth. Yeah. It's perfect. Got some bananas. And in Thai, this is called a gloi kai bolan, which is a, like a, just like a wild egg, egg banana or apple banana. Mmm. Oh. It's so good. Mm, yeah. It's like orange on the inside. Wow. That is a superb banana. He gave us some bananas on the way out. His name is Kunrani. Pay him a visit. He has amazing coconuts and fruit. And what stands out even more than his fruit is how nice and how friendly he is. Next up, we are going to Salak Kok, which is a, it's a fishing village in a bay with mangroves. It looks amazing. We're gonna eat some seafood there.
this is an old fishing community. It's gorgeous here. We're at the pier. We're gonna walk around. Oh man, the peace and quiet, the fishing boats, the bay. It, it's, it's gorgeous. Can you see that dog taking a nap on the sunken boat? and the water is really peaceful because it's an inlet, it's a bay that comes in. If you go further that way, you'll get to the, to the open sea. Uh, but that's why this water remains so quiet. There's, it's covered in mangroves. The mangroves are gorgeous as well. And one of the main attractions here is to kayak through the mangroves, uh, but then also just to come here and just observe the, the traditional, a traditional Gachang fishing village. One of the ways to support this community is to go to the seafood restaurant. They have a seafood restaurant, one main seafood restaurant here, uh, where the fishermen bring their catch, and so you can go there to eat seafood. It's very much community run and driven, which is what I like about it. Uh, so we're gonna go see what seafood they have for the day. This place is relaxation on another level. It's so relaxed, in fact, that we came here and the chef is actually, the chef has gone somewhere, so they had to call up the chef to tell the chef to come back here uh, to cook. One of their specialties here is gang, which in English is mantis shrimp, the giant alien-looking mantis shrimp, uh, which I've already had a number of times in Trat. Uh, it's very common, it's very popular, uh, and so they have a fresh tank of them. Those are giant. But something else I have to show you over here is giant arapaima. But you look over this, oh, look at how big that fish is. That's like the size of a full-grown man. Yeah, the food has all arrived. It looks spectacular, uh, but by all means, the centerpiece, the, the trophy of the meal are these mantis shrimp. They're just, they're, they're huge. They're like a foot long. Uh, they kept the whole heads and the tentacles and the pinchers on them. They're kind of scary looking, and these are deep fried with garlic and uh, maybe some oyster sauce on top. You can see those crunchy pieces of garlic. Oh, it looks, it looks awesome. It's definitely the length of your face. Oh, hello, nice to meet you. And you can see that shell, uh, but then on the inside there, that's the meat, that's what you're going for. That's like, it's, it's kind of like lobster and shrimp mixed together. Oh, wow. Oh, the freshness. Oh, the garlic. The taste is in between crab and shrimp and lobster kind of all mixed together. The texture is uh, a little bit stringy, but silky. It's sweet. It, it, they're superb. Okay, this is the meat right out of the tail. Look at how succulent, how moist, and how juicy that is. It's unbelievably delicious. Another dish we got is called pla gung. Normally in Thailand it's called kla pla gung, but here they call it gung pla. Um, this is raw shrimp. It's kind of like ceviche. Raw shrimp in here, lots of lemongrass, chilies. They put some carrots and cashews in here and then it should be like a lime dressing. Um, and you can see the shrimp are just, they're raw but they're just cooked by the lime juice. Mm. Oh, oh that's one of those dishes that like kind of punches you in the face. Mm. It's sour. Really nice and sour. All that finely shaved lemongrass in there would give you such a freshness. There are chilies in there. You've got the crunch of the cabbage and those carrots and then the cashews. Final dish we got here is bamuk dat diao. And dat diao is, it's a common form of preserving. It literally translates to one sun, meaning one day of sun. So they hang out the seafood in the sun, let it dry in the sun for one day. Um, and then it's normally deep fried. So this area is known for their squid one sun. Uh, and so you can see it's sort of crinkled up, it looks a little drier and then it's deep fried. On second thought, after looking at it, I think, I think it's cuttlefish. Mmm. 
Mmm. Yeah. Oh wow. That's that is absolutely fantastic. It has a little chewy factor to it, but you taste the saltiness as it's slightly preserved. Um, it's like rubbery, but not at the same time, and just packed full of flavor. Oh, this makes for the perfect like chili garlic platform. What a perfect little ledge. Oh, with that sauce. I'm going in for the tentacles. In Thai, they call it the nuat, like the mustache. Uh, and I'm gonna use that mustache to kinda, kinda scrape up as much chilies and garlic as possible. That's a bite to remember. That was a stunner of a seafood meal. Do not let the emptiness, and if there are no people here, just, just come here. Uh, the, it's great, the seafood is delicious and fresh. Our bill was pretty expensive. I mean, it is pretty expensive, but over half our bill was because we had those mantis shrimp. Uh, so if you don't have the mantis shrimp, you can really reduce your price and you can get some of the other dishes. All right, and that, hold on. And that completes our visit to Salakot. It's really a beautiful fishing village. The seafood is great. Uh, it's well worth your effort to come here. From here, we're driving down the coast and we're going to Hatsayao, which is, in English, it's Long Beach. See, at some parts, the road was covered in jungle and kind of overgrown. Micah is taking a nap right now, so they're waiting in the car. We were gonna, planning to swim here and play in the sand for a little while. We'll see if Micah wakes up, but for the time being, let's go take a look at the beach right now. Yeah, it is pretty spectacularly quiet and peaceful. The water, it's, it's pretty nice. Um, there's kind of a lot of garbage though. Too bad it's not a bit cleaner. Uh, there, there are a couple of restaurants, or maybe just one restaurant kind of bar area. Uh, people are chilling. It's, it's very peaceful though. Very, a, a very relaxing place. Micah's still sleeping, so I think we're gonna continue on, but I'm not all that impressed with Long Beach. Uh, it's, it's a nice beach, it's nice and quiet, but looks like it's seen better days. It's kind of run down, it's kind of dirty. Lots of garbage has washed up. Uh, I was much more impressed with Salak Kok. From here, we're driving on to Salak Pet, which is the next bay. And we made it to Salak Pet. That was just a short drive, but another beautiful drive. The first place that we're stopping off here is a mangrove plank walkway. You might go off. This is already gorgeous, but part of the reason it's really cool is because maybe it is abandoned, it is really quiet. You do have to be a little careful of the missing planks and the loose planks. You get to this certain point and the mangroves really open up to some, an expansive greenery with the mountains in the background. Uh, it's really kind of a shame though that they haven't maintained the, the walkway, the boardwalk, because it's in pretty bad shape. You do, my, my tip is that you really stand in the center where the, the concrete beams are, uh, but it's, it's gorgeous and peaceful and quiet. Made it to the very end of the platform. Actually, I thought it was supposed to go a loop trip. Maybe, I don't know, but this is, the, this is definitely the end. Heading back to the car, and from here, we're gonna go check out one more seafood restaurant within Salak Pet, and I think that might conclude the day. But what a fantastic day it's already been. There are two main seafood restaurants to choose from. One is called Salak Pet Seafood and Resort, and the other is called Sengarun. Jamaica. 
Seng Arun. Uh, so we're gonna try to go to Seng Arun. It looks a little more low key, and we gotta walk down the the little lane to get there. We sort of walk through their house, which is like a full dock in of itself, and then you get to the restaurant in the back here with a view of the sea. Ah, yeah. oh, yes. Didn't order very much, just a couple of dishes. I uh, just wanted to try this place and just to enjoy the view of Salak Pet Bay and the, yeah, just the, the late afternoon scenery. And it, it is spectacular. We have the sea breeze. This is called Hoi Ja Bu. Uh, these are little crab cakes and then deep fried. I'm not sure if they're encased in uh, tofu skin. I think they are. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe it's mixed with egg, but it's crab. You can taste the onions and garlic in there and then kind of crunchy skin. Normally what you're supposed to do is dip it in this sweet plum sauce. Sauce is very sweet. But that does accompany well the, the salty pepperiness of the sausage. The next dish we got is pad cha, which is this type of stir fry with hoi shell, which are the uh, scallops. And you can see it's full of Oh, there's some random random leaves in there. Um, it's full of uh, grachai, which is finger root. These are a little small, hopefully. I think, I think they're local um, uh, scallops. Uh, onto the rice. Okay. I love that finger root in there. Um, and then you've got the scallops, which have a bit of a bounce to them. Oh yeah, we've got a hanger. Oh, oh, it just slid off, <laughs> okay. Okay, and moving on to one more dish. This one is tom som, and it looks to be like blaka bok, which is uh, mullet fish, and it's a sour soup. Whoa, we got a bunch of heads down there. Oh, there's a bunch of fish. Oh, okay, they're just small fish, but there's a lot of them. And immediately you can smell that kind of sour, I think tamarind in there, and there's ginger too. Mmm, mmm. Ooh, the soup is nice with the ginger. Mmm, it's it could be a little more sour. It's not that sour, mm. but the fish broth and the ginger. The ginger actually, there's so much ginger in there, it sort of burns going down your throat. That's delicious. Yeah, that's mullet, very firm. So that brings us to the end of this. What a fantastic day it has been in Got Chang along the east coast of the island. The ending seafood meal, it was okay, but it wasn't spectacular to me. For me, the, the first seafood restaurant at Salak Kok, that was really the more, the, the awesome experience. It, it just had more character to it too. Another thing I wanted to tell you before ending this Got Chang travel food video guide, uh, yesterday, I didn't film a video, but I took a few clips. We drove uh, to the end of the west side. Uh, you can continue along. It's a really windy, amazing road, but then you get to a place called Bang Bao, uh, which is a pier. It's kind of a, there's a lot of like souvenir shops. Um, I didn't try any of the restaurants, but it, it's a nice place to see as well. And then if you continue on, there's another beach called Kong Goi, which is also a really chilled out, a uh, really relaxing place if you're looking for a place to uh, stay for a few nights that's that's going to be peaceful and quiet. That, that's also an amazing place. So that's going to do it for this one day tour of Got Chang, uh, visiting some of the sites and especially enjoying the food. I will have all the information of the things we did and ate in the description box below as well as some links that you can check out. And I want to say a huge thank you for watching this video. It's been a fantastic, fantastic day. Uh, and we're just gonna drive back to the other side of the island now. So thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And also, if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video. Thanks again for watching. See you on the next video.